Good man, it's your boy DT3 man, and I'm back at you with another video, man. New media, notification game, God Squad. It's what it is, man. This video is to all you Tyson Fury fans, all you Gypsy Queen fans out there that's just on the Fury bandwagon so tough. Some of y'all on the Gypsy Queen bandwagon harder than. The people that's on the Wilder bandwagon, y'all just on it tough. At least the people that's on the Wilder bandwagon got some justification because actually Wilder is the current WBC champion. Also, he's actively fighting. Unlike you Fury fans who are back in the fighter who ain't fought in about probably like three years. I haven't even heard of a negotiation for a Tyson Fury fight in three years. And all Fury doing on Twitter, Instagram, all over social media is just talking about Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua. His first fight back should be against Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua ain't this. Anthony Joshua ain't that. Man, Fury, get off Anthony Joshua's dick. You talking about Anthony Joshua more than Wilder. Get off of that man's dick. Get a fight. You know what I'm saying? Because three years of ring rush is real. It's very real. And if you think, and I've seen David Price fight. If you think sparring with David Price is what's going to prepare you to be in the ring against a, a contender heavyweight, you tripping. You tripping. I'm not saying David Price ain't a good fighter, but the fighters that you calling out will, get, will, will knock David Price the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Dillian White will beat David Price. You know what I'm saying? Beat the shit out of him. And I don't even fuck with Dillian White. Anthony Joshua will beat David Price. Easy. Wilder will beat David Price. Easy. Luis Ortiz will beat David Price. Easy. And you sitting there bragging about how sparring with David Price and this, this, that. It's like, motherfucker, please. Motherfucker, please. Get over yourself, Fury. All I see Fury doing is talking. And all y'all Fury fans is just sucking that shit up, eating that shit up. Like, yeah, you're, you're the greatest, Fury. You're the real champion. Da -da -da. And motherfucker ain't fought nobody. When the last time he fought? Klitschko? The last time Tyson Fury fought anybody was when he fought Klitschko. Won them belts. Became the champion. Got all that notoriety as a champion. He couldn't handle the heat. Because he had hella belts. So he couldn't handle all the attention he was getting. All the fame. So the nigga got on some coke. And ran the fuck off. And left the boxing shit alone. And was getting high some fucking weird. Now. That he basically like. Oh shit. I was Tyson Fury. Heavyweight champion of the world. The lineal champion. The true champion. The true British champion. And I let it go to coke and drugs. I lost my shit. Now I can't get a fight. Because no one gives a fuck about Tyson Fury. No one cares to fight Tyson, the Gypsy Queen Fury. Nobody. And you're calling out the heavyweight champion, the current heavyweight champion of the world. And you think you're worthy of a fight with the heavyweight champion. You need to build your career back up, Mr. Fury. Grandant, you are a decent boxer. But you ain't as great as you putting yourself out there to be. Because the Klitschko fight was boring as shit. It was hella boring. <clears throat> you didn't show nothing to me. I didn't. There's nothing special about you, Fury. Except that you a big dude. That is nimble. You ain't the only big dude that's nimble. Big Baby Miller is a big dude that's nimble. And you don't throw more punches than Big Baby Miller. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be a good fight for you. I think you should fight Big Baby Miller. Why? Because Big Baby Miller has good head movement, good footwork. Everything that you're saying Joshua isn't, Big Baby Miller is. You're saying he don't got good. You're saying Joshua don't got good footwork and got good boxing skills. Big Baby Miller has damn good footwork. And he's fought Miracle Krokop. You know what I'm saying? So, I really seriously believe Big Baby Miller, Tyson Fury is a good fight. It's a good matchup. You know, because Fury always talking shit about 
how certain people can't box and all that shit. So, that fight should be made happen. He shouldn't fight no fucking Shannon Briggs. Shannon Briggs is fucking 80 years old. That ain't even like... You beating Shannon Briggs now ain't proving shit to me is that you beating up on old people. You beating on senior citizens and shit. I don't respect that shit. I don't feel that. You know what I'm saying? But to all you Fury fans sitting here backing up a dude that ain't fought nobody in the last three years. And he talking all this shit. Got stripped. Got his belt stripped from him. And still talking like he's the lineal champion. Like, he deserves all this shit. He don't deserve nothing. You was the champ. You was the dude. You was already that dude that you basically looking to take from Joshua. Everything that you looking to take from Joshua, you was already that, Fury. I'm more so disappointed in, than anything else. Because you already had the shit. You had it in your motherfucking hands. What did you do? You blew that shit up your motherfucking nose. And now you want to talk shit three years later because you broke. That's the bullshit I'm talking about with these heavyweights nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I went on my rampant about Wilder. I'm going on a rampage on motherfucking Tyson Fury. And I'm going to go on another rampage on Anthony Joshua in my next video. Yeah, I got some for you Anthony Joshua fans too. I got a lot of shit. A lot of heat for you niggas. But to you Fury fans, sit your ass down, shut the fuck up. To Tyson Fury, sit your ass down, shut the fuck up. You look great in your training. I see you lost your weight. That's great. That's good. Awesome. Kudos to you. Your ass needs to get a contract, get a fight, and fight somebody. And win the fight. And then start talking. But all you doing right now, Mr. Fury, is talking. I'm tired of hearing you talk. I'm tired of hearing your raspy voice. I'm tired of hearing it. And then I'm tired of hearing the shit that you said about the Parker Joshua fight. I'll get to that in another video. But I'm so tired of it. Because honestly, Mr. Fury, you're not the best boxer in the world. I've seen you train. I've seen you train next to Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders makes you look like an amateur. And he's the true champion. So the fact that you were able to train with the true champion is a very, very big blessing for you, child. But you need to shut the fuck up and get you a fight. Sign a motherfucking contract. You feel me? Let us know. Because we want to know. We want to see you fight, Fury. We tired of hearing you. Well, I am. I'm tired of hearing you talking. I want to see you put the motherfucking hands up. I want to see you put some paws on somebody. I want to see if you really bought that shit. Because I watched your whole little career highlights, all that shit. You fought a couple of cool dudes. A couple of cool dudes. But you have the only top tier dude that you fought and beat was Klitschko. And even in that fight, that shit was boring as fuck. Klitschko didn't do shit. He was too busy trying to argue with you instead of fight you. So when you fight somebody that ain't finna argue with you back and forth, that's really finna fight your ass, that's what I want to see. I'm tired of hearing Tyson Fury talking. I'm tired of hearing Tyson Fury talk about how he won't Joshua, 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 Joshua. Wilder is a champion. Wilder is a champion. Start talking about him. Talk about him just as much as you talk about fucking Anthony Joshua. Get off Anthony Joshua's dick. For real. Because a lot of these dudes in the heavyweight division, they just Anthony Joshua dick riders. Let that nigga breathe. You know what I'm saying? He he barely 20 fights in a game, and y'all on this dude hella tough. Mayweather wasn't like that 20 fights in. You know what I'm saying? Mayweather didn't get to where he was at till after he fought um Anturo Gotti and Oscar De La Hoya. That's when he really, like, catapulted. You know what I'm saying? But Joshua beat Klitschko, wins a belt. Now y'all got this man on this top-tier pedestal like he's just the god of boxing or something. Like, get the fuck out of here, man. Fury, shut your ass up. Get a fight, win it, and let it be a decent contender. You shouldn't be fighting no bum-ass duo now, yeah. You sh your first fight back should be against the lowliest, the, the, the bummiest, the scum of the earth type boxer. Like, he just ain't shit. You need to fight that dude, get your, get your legs up under you right, and then get your, you know, get your feet wet. Your feet dry than a motherfucker. You ain't, you ain't out here doing shit, Fury. And to all y'all fans backing him up, y'all niggas is done. Real shit. You know what it is, man. It's your boy, DT3, New Media, Notification Gang, God Squad, 
It's what it is, man. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time I hit y'all with some hot shit. Follow me on Instagram at dboywso. Follow me on Twitter at dboywso. You'll see it's DT3, man. You already know what it is, man. But to all you Tyson Fury fans, y'all need to really push y'all dude to get a fight and stop backing up his bullshit talk, man. Tell that man to get in the ring and fight somebody and shut the fuck up and stop talking about Anthony Joshua and he need to fight somebody, man. Real shit, man. One hundred.